Oh, limitation for first-line treatment for advanced HCC are many so far. We have um, limitations related to the efficacy. Uh, we have uh, an overall survival that is uh, a bit uh, longer than one year, but we need more. Uh, safety issues, because the safety profile of the tyrosine kinase inhibitors is not so good. We have um, diarrhea, hypertension, hand skin reaction, so many adverse events. And also we have uh, an issue in selecting patients. We don't have any biomarkers to select patients uh, for uh, different drugs. Uh, we have two drugs, sorafenib and lenvatinib. We can uh, rely on the uh, inclusion criteria of the phase three trials, but we don't have a, a real biomarker to select patients for one drug or the other. The uh, rationale for combining cabozantinib and atezolizumab in first line is a biological rationale of combining an antiogenic drug as cabozantinib and an immunocology drug as atezolizumab. Also, cabozantinib, uh, differently from other tyrosine kinase inhibitor, has a direct activity on the immune system and uh, promotes an, an immunopermissive system, an immunopermissive environment uh, that can be uh, and so the, the activity of cabozantinib can be synergistic with the activity of the tezolizumab in improving, uh, with, the, with the aim to improve uh, the objective response rate and the, the efficacy of the combination. Cosmic 312 uh, trial is a phase three uh, randomized trial. It's a global trial and uh, randomized patients to receive a cabozantinib plus atezolizumab or sorafenib or cabozantinib alone. The randomization is 211. Um, patients are stratified according to a region, etiology of the disease, and the presence of a macrovascular invasion and or extrapatic spread. Uh, the primary endpoints of the study are overall survival and progression-free survival for the combination arm, atezolizumab plus, atezolizumab, sorry, plus cabozantinib versus a sorafenib. And there is also a um, secondary endpoint uh, in terms of progression-free survival of cabozantinib versus uh, um, sorafenib. Uh, the study is ongoing. Uh, patients uh, it started accrual in December um, 2018, so we will expect uh, the results uh, in the next year or two years. Uh, we have a combination of uh, immune oncology drugs plus uh, bevacizumab, an antiangiogenic uh, drug, a monoclonal antibody, or combination of uh, two uh, checkpoint inhibitors, for example, uh, uh, durvalumab plus uh, tremelimumab, or in the, in the intermediate stage, for example, combination of a local regional uh, treatment uh, plus uh, checkpoint inhibitors.